magical place of beauty. Hinman, a place not wildly known. Hinman, a place that takes you back in time. Hinman, a place where the tides completely change the coasts and uncover lost relics of the past. Hinman, the Golden Gate. What's up, folks? It's Derex, aka the Frisco Roamer. Today we're going to talk about the coolest little island you never heard of, Hinman, which translates to Golden Gate. Hinman lies a mere three kilometers from mainland China. It's located in the Taiwan Strait, and this has led to many confrontations with China. Hinman is part of Taiwan and can be considered a very relaxing, slow, rural experience, or it can be intense, depending what you want to do there. If you're looking for nightlife and modern city life, you can skip Kinmen. If you want to see and experience a very different life from your own, then Kinmen might be the spot for you. While Kinmen is more than Kinmen Main Island and Little Kinmen, we will only focus on these two islands. After my first trip to Kinmen, several things really stood out to me, and I will share these topics with you today. First, Kinmen has a big military presence. As a result, there are many museums dedicated to this topic. The second are the villages, which to my experience are very unique. And finally, the wind lion gods who act as the guardians of Kinmen. While Kinmen is also known for its birds, beaches, knives, and Giao Liang, their famous liquor, we will not cover those topics in this video. And I want to apologize for not being able to pronounce these words. Uh, doing my best. Finally, if you haven't seen my 10 reasons to visit Taiwan, you might want to check it out as I share some very general things about Taiwan, which I won't be covering in any of my other Taiwan videos. Kinmen unknowingly has a lot in common with my hometown of Frisco. Beaches. Both are known as the Golden Gate and Bunkers. There is a large military presence in Kinmen, but it is not intimidating. Many of the bunkers have been converted to museums and tourist attractions, which I have visited on my first trip. Some places to check out if you are into war and military history are 823 Artillery Battle Museum, Gunning War History Museum, Triangle Fortress, Lion Mountain, and Taiwu Martyr Shrine. There is even a military brothel exhibition hall. Aside from the museums, patriotism and military presence can also be seen on the streets. When I first laid eyes on my first traditional Fujianese village in Kinmen, I felt I was transported back in time. 
It was very surreal wandering the villages of Kinmen. Most of the people were old who lived in the villages, and sometimes it felt like they were abandoned, as I often saw no one around. But there are people who live in these villages. If you don't see anyone, you'll hear the dogs barking and you'll see clothes hanging to dry. I must have been to every village on Kinmen and Little Kinmen. But some of the more popular villages are Jushan, Shuito, Okyo, Baishan, and Shanho. I preferred the less touristy villages. At first, I thought the locals might be angry with me walking around villages with my camera gear taking photos, but it was quite the opposite. Everyone I ever met in Kinmen was nothing but kind and hospitable. much about them here. If you want more, I have a whole video dedicated to them. And then you can see that on the link at the end of the video. The Wind Lion Gods are the guardians of Kinmen and can be extremely easy to find, up to pulling out your hair and wanting to smash something difficult. Looking for the Wind Lion Gods is a great way to explore the villages of Kinmen and to interact with locals. This was my favorite thing to do in Kinmen. Now that you have been introduced to Kinmen, stay tuned for my next Kinmen video where I will share some specific sites to get you started. Peace and keep being curious.